uh, how long have you been here? <sighs> Let me tell you something. It's been uh, 51 and a half days. I don't know. Up is down. Down is up. I ran out of my full beard trimmer. All I have is the unibrow trimmer. Let me tell you, I'm from Wyoming, all right? And I'll be honest, I didn't think I was going to start missing Wyoming. Wait, why, why is that? It's Wyoming. They stopped paying us a couple weeks ago, so when we get to leave, I'm taking stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely taking stuff. None of this back here is mine. <laughs> these things belong to me now. Like, these chairs are mine. The bed, the bed is mine. This is what it's like to be furloughed, but then you have to live at the job you used to have. And you know what I'm looking forward to the most? Getting these guys off this ship. Because you know what? All life is valuable, which seems to be something the managerial staff doesn't seem to remember. I didn't even know this was an instrument until I picked it up and it just made noise. You may think I'm a heartless person because I've decided to leave with a couple material objects. Not sure what that is. But I tell you what, it makes, uh, it makes pretty noise. That's pretty good, right? Let's look at the bigger issues here. We've been left on a ship. A ship. <laughs> we were on a 12 person party cruise ship, Tipsy Boy Cruises. <laughs> and um, we still had a case of COVID, unfortunately. Our friend Neil, he said he didn't feel good and he was like coughing and like sneezing. TBH, we were both like smoking a lot of weed. So we were like, okay, let's isolate you. We're gonna put you in a closet. We locked him in the closet. And um, then we forgot that he was in there. Guys, please let me out of the closet. I don't have COVID. And so he died. It's allergies. Jesus. <coughs> no. So yeah, COVID. I mean, it's crazy. Oh, it's like a horror movie. So much sex. And that's not the only thing going around. I got a window. Not everyone gets the window. Oh, Jasper's out. I haven't eaten in days. Jasper! Uh, George needs to get his ass back here. I'm done. I'm so happy. I have three kids here. They're all homeschooling right now. I'm not a f***ing teacher. It's um, very quiet. The cook's gone. She had to go home to help her family. There's umbrellas in every drink. I can barely make f***ing possible. Like, this is, this is what we got. And the sun shines all the time. I have talked to so many governmental people and cruise people, and I have waited on hold for like days, days. And he still can't get off that fucking boat. What the fuck is happening on there? You hear that? No, you don't. Part of me is terrified, part of me is livid. I hate this, get your ass home. But do you, do you miss your family? No, absolutely not. This fucking sucks. It's a good thing this part could be edited out though, right? Get his back home. Uh, all these interviews are live. Hey, thanks for watching the videos. Please, there's more here. Subscribe as well. You're beautiful.